Hello friends and welcome to a new video. So many theorems or assertions that objects of a particular type exist. So such kind of theorems where it asserts the existence of a particular type of object is of this form. There x is x, p of x, right? Where p is a predicate. Now a proof for a proposition of this form is called an existence proof. In this video, we are going to see two types of existence proof, constructive and non-constructive. So let's get started. Okay, what is constructive existence proof? All right. So our aim is to find a proof for the statement there x is x p of x, right? There x is x p of x is true when there exists a value for x in the domain where p of that value is true, right? So we just need to find that value for x for which p of x is true. So we need to find an element a such that p of a is true. When we find such a, then we are done. That is a constructive existence proof. All right. Okay. To put it informally, if you have to prove a statement like there exists an object which satisfies some properties. Okay. All right. So you have to find an object. You have to find an object which exists and which satisfies that property. Uh, you have to exactly find that object. That is what required for proving the existence constructively. Okay, let's see an example here to understand constructive existence proof more clearly. So the theorem statement is that it states that there is a positive integer that can be written as the sum of cubes of positive integers in two different ways. So we need to show the existence of a positive integer where the property that it should satisfy is that positive integer you should be able to write it as a sum of cubes of positive integers in two different ways. Okay, so what we do is we find that positive integer. Okay, so here I am saying that the positive integer is 1729. Okay, so I found out that positive integer and I am proving that that satisfies this required property. Right, so 1729 can be written as 10 cube plus 9 cube. Also, it can be written as 12 cube plus 1 cube. Alright, so we have found a positive integer exactly which can be written as sum of cubes of positive integers in two different ways. And that's how constructive existence proof works. Okay, so what is a non-constructive existence proof? Well, it is non-constructive meaning that we don't find a particular element A for which P of A is true to prove the exists P of X. Right, but we prove it in some other way. Okay, so let's take an example here to understand how non-constructive existence proof works more clearly. Okay, so the theorem statement is that there exist irrational numbers x and y such that x raised to y is rational. So here we are not going to find particular values for x and y such that x raised to y is rational. Consider the number root 2 raised to root 2. Okay, so we don't know about whether it is irrational or rational. So suppose it was rational. Suppose root 2 to the power root 2 was rational. Then we have x and y such that x raised to y is rational. Where x and y are irrational, right? Because root 2 is rational. So we got what we needed to prove, right? In that case, when root 2 raised to root 2 is rational, right? But if root 2 raised to root 2 is irrational, okay, then what we will do? Then we can let x equal to root 2 raised to root 2 and let y equal to root 2 so that x raised to y will become root 2 to the power of root 2 to the power of root 2 which is root 2 raised to root 2 into root 2 which is root 2 raised to 2 which is equal to 2. 2 is rational, right? So, in that case also, we got two irrational numbers x and y such that x raised to y is rational. And since root 2 raised to root 2 have only two possibilities, either it can be rational or it can be irrational. And since we have exhausted all these cases, we can surely say that there exist irrational numbers x and y such that x raised to y is rational. So this proof is an example of a non-constructive existence proof. Because we have not found irrational numbers x and y, right? We have not found such the values of the irrational numbers x and y exactly such that x raised to y is rational. 
we have not found such rational numbers here rather we have shown that either the pair x equal to root 2 comma y equal to root 2 or the pair x equal to root 2 raised to root 2 and y equal to root 2 have the desired property but we do not know which of these two pairs works okay but one among these pairs will definitely work that only we know okay so this is an example of a non constructive existence proof okay so if you have any doubt or anything please comment below and if you want any other uh, proof strategy methods to be explained or any example or any particular queries you have please comment below okay so thank you and hope to see you in the next video